I just tried the screamer and the formulation is wow. Regardless of the amount of PR that I get, I actually love going out to shop and go to Olive Young and pick up products myself. Hey guys! Today I'm gonna take you guys... Oh wait, the sun. Yes, there we go, better. Yeah, I'm at Kadosuki right now, one of the hottest places. It used to be really hot. It's not kind of dead because of Corona, but it's still hot. And I thought I'd just take you guys skincare shopping with me. How fun is that? So I'm first at the ordinary they actually sent me a voucher so i'm here to collect my gift so let's go check it out isn't the voucher so pretty <laughs> So he's gonna write all of the things that I shouldn't be using together, which is super helpful. But obviously you don't want to use too many actives together, right? Like you don't want to use glycolic acid with retinol. You want to keep them separate. I wonder what's hemisqualine. It says hemisqualine? I should ask. And also what I love about the Ordinary is that they're so affordable. Like seriously, check out the pricing. Like it's like... Not even 10,000 won, which is like eight dollars. It disappeared. I usually get the um, rosehip seed oil because I know rosehip seed oil is really good for your hyperpigmentation. And y'all know I have some acne hyperpigmentation going on. And the thing is, it's so funny. Like I always buy it, but because I like don't, I forget to use it. It becomes like oxidized, and I always end up getting a new one. I know it's so bad. You can come at me, but I think I'm gonna get this one. Squalane is so nice. I love squalane. I have a problem. This video was not a very good idea. It's very bad for my wallet. They have a lot of products. I think they really like branched out. I remember, I don't remember like seeing this many products. Can we get a lot of this? I love this. This is my favorite part of the store. Beauty doesn't inside. No, it doesn't. Because we all beautiful. <laughs> this is why I have a problem. I probably have like so many products at home. Cannot control myself. All right, now that we are at Shin, so I thought I'd stop by Claire Soul. Ooh, slippery road, slippery road. Yoohoo! Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Look at these mini samples. So cute. I love these. I think they're like a great way of like trying out a new product. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. I actually end up using more samples than like the real thing. Oh, I wish that the Vitamin Clear Serum. They only have the cream. <laughs> You, I wanted this one. They prepared as a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, yeah. 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 So apparently their like tea room is like super hot right now. It's like you can't get reservations, but thank you. Thank you. Guys, like remember I asked you guys what was your favorite serum? So many of you guys answered this. I've actually never tried it, so I was I was so curious and I was actually about to buy it but they they just gave it to me in a gift so yay saved some money that's good but yeah so many of you guys have been raving so I can't wait to try this one you guys know I love my big sized products this is supple preparation all over lotion I don't think I have this oh it looks good oh, mm. oh my gosh this feels so awesome this is 250 mil guys, this is huge. It feels nice. It's actually a lot lubricating. 
compared to other lotions I've tried, if that makes any sense. Like, it feels more light. There we go, runny. Oh, the finish is light. Oh, my skin, my hands just soaked that up. Damn, it is dry today. I'll tell you that. Oh, me likey, me likey. This is awesome. I want to get this. I probably shouldn't. Oh, also, I think, um, what is, I never tried their blemish cream either. Right? I love BB creams. Ever since, like, my skin turned into a dry one, I've been obsessed with BB creams. Yes, actually it's not too greasy. Maybe it's because my hands are so effing dry right now, but that looks decent. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, mm? that actually has a bit of coverage. That's nice. I, I might get that one too. Shit. I have to get out of here. Don't tell anyone. Shh. It's like that TikTok where it's like, I have a problem, but it's not hurting anyone, so I think it's okay. <laughs> it's called retail therapy, bitches. Go. I was actually gonna film at Cheongsanbu, but I felt like they were gonna kick me out. Like they weren't going to allow me film, so I just like I let myself out. So we're at Doctor Jardin today. I love their display here. It's crazy insane. Seek up her express. Well, this is like their best sellers here. Do you see your favorite? My mom actually loves that one. She's obsessed with the toner. Seriously. Oh, and I like it too. I will say, it's very nice. <gasps> There's so many products here. So I know that this is their new release. Ooh! Oh, damn, that's thick. Damn, that's a bomb type. Damn, she thick. Oh, wow. Okay, the finish is a lot lighter, I gotta say. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. So. I actually have this at home. I just haven't opened it up yet. And then I also have this one. I actually bought this myself at Olivia. It was on sale. I think these two are pretty similar, no? Right? Ah, okay. This one's way oilier. You can tell, right? Very moisturizing. Yeah, this is more my cup of tea. Oh, I see my favorite. I love this. Like, their color marketing is on another level. Look at that. That is so cool. They have their sunscreens, SPF. I think they changed up their SPFs. I think they used to have another different type. It's chemical, physical, sun milk, and tone up, right? It's their chemical sunscreen. I don't know if it's an upgrade. Ooh, feels really light. Oh, chok choks. It's moisturizing. Smells like. Smells like. Wool tissue, wool tissue, wool tissue. You Okay, I'll be honest. This baby's face kind of freaks me out. And now my favorite place at Karuske. I love Crownie. If you guys are looking for something really thick and sweet, this is the place to come. Welcome to my world. I was looking at the vlog and I thought, oh, it's missing something. So, oh my gosh, I look like a mess. I'm sorry, guys. I have a long day. <laughs> I thought I'd head and pop by. I'm here at the department store. Damn, that. 
That door was unexpectedly heavy, but anyways. This is very exciting. I'm actually gonna get something I've I kind of want to actually buy. Wait, is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, kind of wanted to buy. And I'm really intrigued about it, so let's go. So there's Hera. It is empty because it's almost closing time. <laughs> this is funny. Very fun. Oh my gosh, it's actually great. Of course, everywhere else is empty, but the place I want to go is packed with people. It's Chanel, guys. Yes. I want to get their new line Chanel. Oh yes. Oh. I just tested out the serum. And it's kind of sticky at the end. Mm. Uh, thank you. Mm. Uh, I got the serum. Serum and mist? <gasps> this is a mist? You guys know I I can't live without mists. I want to try this out. Oh, it smells. Actually, it smells quite normal. <laughs> I was expecting it to smell like really, really great. Oh, they have a lotion. Cool. Powder to foam cleanser. Okay, Chanel's really branching out on their skincare, huh? I got the cream. Cream is really good. So I just tried the scream out and the formulation is wow. It honestly is like melted butter. And the pricing wasn't too bad. I mean so yeah. I've only tried one Chanel product and that is the base product so I'm kind of excited for their new line It looks gorgeous I really want to try out this mist I might come back. You all, you all know I'm a sucker for mist. The only thing is, I like my mist to be big. I'd rather have this be like a hundred mil and be more expensive. Oh, love it. Well, and apparently, she told me like this is a refill. So after you're done with this, you can just buy the refill, which is really, really great. Like thinking about the environment, you know, baby steps, but it's still something. Ta da! Now there we go. We have finalized this shopping vlog. Ugh, I'm a sucker for Roger Vivier. There's, <gasps> I love their classic line. Anyways, <laughs> I better get out of here. Hey guys, before we wrap up this video, I thought I'd share you guys what I actually got. So yeah, let's let's hurry on. I got ta -da! All right, first up, let's check out what I got from. This is a packet. So I bought two things from Dear Claire. I first had to, of course, try out this lotion. It is 250 ml. It is a supple preparation all over lotion. And I saw it in the store and I was like, I want to try this out. It's 250 ml. You all know how I feel about my big products. Granted, if you do live in Korea, it's probably much cheaper if you get it online. So it's a lotion type. And you all know, if you've been watching my videos, I've kind of been obsessed with lotions, especially to apply on before my makeup instead of creams because that way you won't get any lotion burgers and your makeup will adhere better so i got that and of course i wanted to get the B oh oh yeah this was a sample i was like well, first thing i was like what is this did i take something without their permission this is their daily skin hydrating water so i'm guessing this is like uh let me open it up actually so this is what I got. I actually have the full size of this now that I think about it. But thank you. This is this would be great if you're for traveling. 
I also picked up the BB cream. Uh, BB creams are also another fabulous option. I picked this up eventually. I can't wait to try it out. I think Union you really likes the uh, what's my color? The concealer from this line. So I'm very excited to try this out. And then the things I got from the ordinary. Okay, so they gave me this. Oh my gosh, cute! This this set is humongo. They're bright set, so I get the squalene cleanser, caffeine solution, ethylated ascorbic acid, and glycolic acid. I got all of that. I actually picked up some products me said. So these are the ones that I actually purchased with my own money. So first off, I got their 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I always have a rosehip seed oil in my vanity because rosehip seed oil is great for clearing out your hyperpigmentation so I always like to end my night skincare routine with this and also I got their uh, squalane I thought I'd just pop this into my cream and mix it up because I love squalane I honestly feel like squalane is one of the products that just really really does good to heal your skin barrier and then I also picked up the Buffet Copper Peptides. Okay, so so the lovely young man who works there, I asked him, hey, what is your favorite, favorite product from The Ordinary? And he told me that this was it, the Copper Peptides. And apparently, like, this is their own unique ingredient, I guess. And to be honest, to be fair, I never heard copper in a skincare. So I picked this up. He told me to use it as like an active, so not to like use it with other actives that I got. But yeah, so I got these three. I purchased these three. It was still super, super duper cheap. But I'm very, very happy. Hey guys, once again. So obviously I wanted to do a little unboxing of the Chanel that I got. How exciting is this Chanel? Yes, I got first the foundation, which I'm very very excited for. I've never tried Chanel anything except for their base, which I actually really really enjoyed, as you guys saw in my previous video. Oh wait, this the shade looks a tad bit too light. So I got the shade in B10. So first off, this is the Red Camellia. What are you called? Revitalizing foundation. It's very very pretty. Should I say very chic? Mm -hmm. uh, the person who worked there, she was lovely. She recommended me the brightest shade. But I was like, no, that's gonna look too pale. So she recommended me the second one. And let's see. So she said she does recommend. Oh wait, how do I open this? Oh right, I thought it was like a tiny thing. It's not. It's a pump. So oh. Oh my gosh, that's so much product. This is probably worth, I don't know, like 10,000 won, like $10. Ah. She actually told me like I could use it with my hands or like a brush, but if I use a brush, like the glow, I guess, might disappear. She mentioned like all of the the line, all of the products from the line had red camellia oil in it, mm, which sounds delish. But yeah, ooh, this foundation actually looks thick. When it comes to high-end, um, I hope you guys can see that. When it comes to most high-end foundations, I've noticed that they're pretty much on the sheer side. Of course, with the exception of some, like the sheer Mura one, the Lancome one. I have no idea what they're called. <laughs> but I'll plop up the images here. But anyways, so yeah, but this one looks like it has a bit of coverage. I already have a bit of foundation on, so I don't want to muck anything up. Oof, aka waka, oh my gosh. Alright, next in the Chanel bag, I also got their serum. So this is their revitalizing serum. So this is the 30 mil. I got the smaller version because so they had the 30 mil and the 50 mil, and I obviously got the smaller version because I didn't know if I was gonna like it. But oh my gosh, this bottle! I love this red. Oh my gosh. So it was really funny when the woman like tested it out. Like she she put some on the back of my hands for me to test out. It felt really sticky, but I realized like she gave me a lot. She gave me a full pump, and so. Because she kept telling me that it's not sticky, like it shouldn't be sticky. She said, oh, it's supposed to like absorb really well and you're not supposed to feel any kind of residue. So, oh, the scent though. Oh my God, I had a mask on at the time, did not realize how strong the scent is. The scent is not as bougie as I expected it to be. Like, like it smells like 할머니 화장품, you know? Yeah, it is sticky. The, the woman lied to me. Girl, this is sticky. This is hella sticky. I don't... I, I wish you could you guys could feel through the camera. Yeah, this definitely has a sticky finish. I don't know. What, oh, actually, wait, no. It actually. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, 
Okay, it does dry down better, but it, there's definitely a tackiness to it. And I used a very small amount, you guys saw, so I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I'm not a fan of the scent. Floral baby powder, that really warm kind of scent, which actually would work great during the winter times, but I'm not a fan. Eh, kind of disappointed in that. Did you guys know that fragrance is the most expensive ingredient that you put in, in uh, skincare? So that's why like the bougie high ends, they all like to put in fragrance. Not only to really up the experience, but it's also there for the cost. Yeah, I don't know. Eh, not impressed. Sorry. And then, ooh, now this I'm very excited for. I got the cream. I, I wasn't planning on getting the cream, but I was just like, I was just checking it out. And after I tested it, I was like, this cream feels amazing. Once again, gorgeous packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. I love the whole Chanel brand logo at the top. Ah, yes, girl. <laughs> so this is from the same Red Camellia line. Ooh, girl. That looks gorgeous. I tested it and I was like infatuated with the formulation you guys know i love buttery textures i like formulas that just melt onto your skin because i feel like those kind of formulas give you the right amount of moisturizations without feeling thick or suffocating on your skin because it melts right down and this one was just like it so so i just put a it's pretty thin and then it just melts right away oh my gosh i think this is perfect for right now like in this kind of weather it's kind of it's kind of weird, well not weird, but it's it's like spring, but you also get that hint of winter coldness. So it's like really cold during the night, but it's really hot during the days. I feel like this cream would be perfect for that, especially if you're dealing with dehydration. See, it just melts right in. I honestly, as for first impressions, I totally love the cream more than the serum, for sure. And the packaging though, right? The pa I think, I think... <laughs> Now that I look at it in retrospect, I think all of my choices, purchasing choices, were based off on how gorgeous they look. And then, uh, so I, oh yeah, I did make a purchase more than 33, no wait, 33, 300,000 won. So all of those three products were like 380,000 won, which is around like 400, 400, shit, I don't know. This is how much it costs in dollars, but okay so my brain's not working today but the woman was like oh if you purchase more than that we give you a pouch so i got a chanel pouch let's see how oh we got a little oh oh is this it <laughs> oh my gosh i was expecting something to be inside this is the pouch that i got oh my gosh chanel this is very disappointing this is a pouch what am i supposed to do with this like honestly, this doesn't look this doesn't feel very high quality. Like it look it feels a little flimsy. I was like, oh let's take it look and see what's inside. And I realized this was a pouch. That is Ah Chanel. Okay, uh what is not disappointing though, she gave me a whole bunch of samples. This is what's great when you shop in Korea, they give you so much samples. Granted, I did spend a lot of money. I did make that woman very happy. I don't know if she works on commission, but if she does, I made her very I made her day very happy. Um so actually she gave me the perfume. Remember like in the footage, I mistakenly thought that the perfume was the essence, which they do have. So I wonder, yeah, I think they all have like the same kind of scent. I'm just gonna test it out. You gotta first let the alcohol scent fly away. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm just, oh, wait, oh. I think I like the perfume a little bit better. Obviously, they're like the same exact scent, but it smells sweeter in the perfume bottle for some reason. Now that I do like. I did not like it in the Monia serum. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. This was very fun. I I did, I did want to get the Chanel products, but I, I was just like on the fence. I was like, but they're so expensive. But I just thought it fitted perfectly with the theme of this video, where I actually, guys, I think a lot of people think I don't go shopping for skincare that much, but I do. Regardless of the amount of PR that I get, I actually love going out to shop and go to Olive Young and pick up products myself. It's just so much fun. So I thought I'd just share a little bit of that. So yeah, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next.